Good news, everyone. New She-Ra is coming to a theme park near you if you live in Orlando. Fuck, I don't even... Ugh. Okay, so this is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk about She-Ra because, you know, we haven't done our weekly She-Ra video, have we? We probably... Yeah, we did. Brushable hair. Oh, we did brushable hair. That's right. The toys. And, and this She-Ra, she actually has brushable hair. They're really pushing this She-Ra. <laughs> they really are. I mean... Okay, well, first of all, let's go to the announcement that Universal made. Okay, so this our is... Friend, our friend sent us this. Yeah, so uh, this is coming from Universal Orlando. For the honor of Grayskull, the mythical warrior princess She-Ra, not the She-Ra you wanted, but the She-Ra we're giving you, arrives at Islands of Adventure. Well, that's, that's it's, you know, we need, to, we need to mention right now that Comcast owns Universal uh, Studios. Yes. Comcast also owns DreamWorks. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Right, exactly. Yes. Who the Thank heck you. are you? Thank you. They also, Comcast owns DreamWorks as well. Yes. So this is going to be brand synergy, everyone. Um, what, where they're putting this is, I mean, there's a reason why they're doing this. I, I think there's many better choices, yeah. as my friend who sent this to me also believes. What they're doing is because of Hagrid's, okay, this is a long, this is a mouthful. Hagrid's magical creature motorbike adventure opened uh, on the 13th. Two, about two weeks ago. Yeah, they opened on the 13th at Universal. Uh, it's been plagued with issues though. And people have been waiting up to 10 hours while well, that was on the 13th to ride it. So 10 hours, but even now the ride wait lines are still like, you know, four, five, six hours to ride. Yeah, it's been having all kinds of technical problems. It doesn't even open until noon right now because they don't have time to keep up with it, etc. So it's Harry Potter's fault. Basically, it's park, Harry yeah. Potter's fault. So basically what's going on is because the line goes so far back, it goes into Islands of Adventure, the Lost Continent area, and because of the lost, the line is kind of back there, they're trying to keep people entertained for the many, many hours you'll wait for one attraction. Um, they decided, let's put something in there. We could have done many things. We could have put a characters, other characters we own in there. We could have done some kind of walkthrough experience. We could have done something with Harry Potter, which makes sense because it's a Harry Potter attraction. That makes more sense. But no. Yes. We need to, we need to up numbers on, I mean, she was so great. And it's so popular that, you know, we'll just put she in there and everybody will love it. It's nothing to do with maybe that it's not that popular and we have to up the numbers on it or anything like that. Yeah. We're just going to put it in there and everybody's going to love it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So. As I, much as I love she I do not. Yeah. Well, at least she's not getting a ride that we know of. God, I hope not. I don't think it's that popular. I mean, I really don't think it's... A, I, I honestly don't think the show is that popular. I don't think it is either. There's no way to know how popular it actually is because Netflix never releases the numbers. Yeah. It's not like TV where they have ratings. It's Netflix. Uh, you know, all their numbers are internal, so you have to kind of guess, you know, how it's doing. Now, I don't see it recommended as much, and people don't talk about it very much anymore because we've actually gotten comments on the last couple of videos where they're like are people still talking like literally nobody's talking about she-ra yeah i mean i think it's popular with the audience that the intended audience. well no according to them the intended audience is children with the intended tumblr audience i think it's still popular but um i don't think it's like a really really super popular show no and um it's just interesting to me that this is this is the choice they made she-ra yeah i mean they um I mean, it's a good shot, though. That's a good picture, by the way. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, the costume, though, like, look, if you're going to do it... It does look like... A, it doesn't look very... It looks very budget. It looks like, rushed. I've seen... Yeah, it does. It's like, okay, we, we need to put something in the part. Let, let's just throw together a She-Ra costume tomorrow. That's what it seems like to me. You know, because this looks like... I mean, I've seen cosplayers do better... Better jobs, yes. A better job. Um, um, but yeah, this does look to me like, okay, we got to... We got we, we got line issues. We got to do something. People are getting bored. People are complaining. Um, literally, this ride's only been up in 10 days. So this is yeah. literally a... We got to slap this together tomorrow yeah. kind of move here. And it, it shows in the costume. However, yeah. <laughs> you know, she does look more feminine than the actual She-Ra. Yeah, she does. Um, but they're making... Yeah, they just... Uh, when was this announced? Today? Today. Yeah. So, so this is her first brand day. synergy. And people, I'm sorry, you're not going to get He-Man because I don't think they have the rights to, to use He-Man. No, but... I think DreamWorks just has She-Ra. She's got the boots, though. Oh god, the moon boots! You can I see the moon, moon boots. boots. Um, who do we have in the? Who do we have in the in the in the character actors that look like Shiro? Okay, grab her. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love this. Who the heck are you? I know. I love that too. So who? who? Yes. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Yes. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you're not familiar with the new show, and and you know, I mean, let's face it, Shira. You know, it's been a while since it's been on the air, and the new Shira just kind of, sort of looks like the old Shira. A lot of people, a lot of parents are going to be like, who are you? Like, well, well we, yeah, I agree. And we, it's Valkyrie from Thor. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, well they would have the rights. People would accept. They yeah. could. They could have done something. Yeah. With Marvel, well, I guess up, you know, but they still have the rights to a lot of these characters. Yeah. They could have done something with that. They could have done something that's more timely. I mean, I guess She-Ra's timely. I think they're just trying to like, quick, what do we have that's not performing well? She-Ra, put her out there. Yeah, we'll we'll put her out there in the parks uh, because She-Ra is gonna take away the pain of waiting ten hours to ride a roller coaster. I mean, um, I, people had a fit about the troll, the fart, the diamond, guy sparkle. Oh, guy, guy that, diamond. That, guy glitter. diamond, yeah. guy diamond, that's it. Yeah, the troll farted that glitter. That farted glitter. They had a hissy fit about that. That, to me, is far more entertaining and, and worthy of a wait than, oh than this God. is. Uh, but um, it, it, it does look thrown together. Yeah, it does. So I don't know if we're, you know, moving on from sheer or not, because uh, Noelle Stevenson's got a new book coming out. Oh, God. About Noelle go. Stevenson. It's, it's a, her memoir. It's, you know, it's a memoir about her life. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so they're collecting all of her Tumblr comics. So she is going back to comics now. She must have some downtime after she or she was supposed to have another book come out that never came down. Something about well, wizards, and it never, never happened. Well, she said this isn't. This is when she she does this therapy, and these are her Tumblr comics from she, the last six or seven years. Because you know when so she, when she was like eighteen, nineteen, she started these, and and that's what they're putting in a collection of books because everybody wants to know more about her. Um, but I will give Universal credit. It was about She-Ra, not, not Noelle Stevenson. Are they allowed to do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Are they? Because she didn't have the, the trademark, like, Noelle Stevenson's she like, sign up. She-Ra, uh, Noelle Stevenson. I mean, all Stevenson, and Noelle Stevenson. I mean, a little bit of She-Ra. Yeah, we talk about the, the press that Stevenson gets. And again, this isn't to slam on Stevenson. I will be very clear. But it does show you, like, she's obviously got some kind of a PR machine behind her compared to pretty much every other comics or animation creator like there's it's clearly, all yeah, there's about clearly her. something they're pushing yeah there's there's it's all about her all of a sudden um, she's in these lists of most creative influential people you yeah. know the, the lgbtq 25 top whatever people it's like you literally just repurpose something that that existed before you yeah um and so now she's got a memoir coming out it's her tumblr comics she's like what 26 27 mm -hmm. and and she's she's got a memoir uh, coming out at 26 or 27, I, which is like, uh, I don't even, who gets a memoir at 26 or 27? I don't know. I don't um, want to talk about it anymore. Okay. I, I think we gave her enough attention. She okay. gets all the attention anyway. So let's go back to She-Ra. So let's go back to she <laughs> um, It's funny. We actually, I actually do a Disney blog. Can I say what it is? Yeah, you can say what it's it is. It's piratesandprincesses.net. If you go to piratesandprincesses.net, that is the, my new Disney blog. There's a long story why we have a new one. Well, actually, it's not a new one. We've had it before. It, it, it's too hard we to explain. We had a podcast. We, we started doing We had a podcast, podcast and a blog, yeah. and then we stopped it, and now we're bringing it back. There's a long story. But if you want to check it out, I actually did a story, and we, we cover the theme parks. And I said in the story, flat out, I said... I'm going to be honest with you up front. I have a bias here. I don't like the new She-Ra show. Yeah. Um... Uh, a lot of people, I don't think either know what they don't know what it is, unless you're you're subscribed to Netflix mm. or you like kids shows on Netflix, you're not gonna know what the heck it is. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it's really popular with the uh, the intended audience. I think it's popular with certain people, but not the intended audience. And I think it'd be better if you had this out in California than Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, if you want to talk demographics, uh, I think LA would uh, be more about new Shira They'd be than more receptive. Florida would be. Right. Yes. So, Just I mean, we'll say that. Uh, but whatever, she's at Universal Orlando if you want to check it out. I mean, honestly, I'd probably just stop in to check it out, but it doesn't look... I don't know. The costume just looks really rushed. It looks really cheap. I mean, I'm not... Like, look, I'm not knocking the... the you know the cast member wearing it but it, it like we've seen better cosplay even of new Shira, we've seen better cosplay mm. and it does seem very rushed but i don't think she's going to take the crowds away from no. from the harry potter there are many coaster. better choices that even that tied in directly with what the theming of the coaster is yeah i guess because where the line ends it's in the it, the well, lost continent they put her in the butt end so um <laughs> they put her in the wait they did they put, they put her in the, in the, the basically to try to get uh, to try to get attend to try to get people coming over there, and I don't think it's going to work the way they think it's going to work. No. However, I do like this guy's background with the Horror Nights because the Horror Nights we highly recommend. Yeah, this guy is actually the Creative uh, Development Senior Director of Creative Development at uh, Universal, so he yeah. might have actually made this this costume. Dude, dude. Okay, Horror Nights. Yeah, Halloween Horror Nights is Love that. awesome. Great job, Halloween Horror Nights. Keep it up. You guys are doing a fantastic job with that. Eh, on this, could they do a Shira haunted house? Oh my god, I'd pay to see that. Sh you know, I'd pay to see that. I mean, well, no, no. If you want to watch a horror version of Shira, just watch the new show. Oh, so anyway, you just walk into it. They turn the lights off and they just play the theme song over and yeah. over and over and over. Never. <laughs> 
Oh, you're screechy voice. Just, uh, you're screeching. And then you have to look, and then horsey, 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 horsey over and over again. Oh my God, that would be that would be horrifying. That'd be truly horrifying. So yeah, she's at Universal, uh, guys. I'm sure you're all gonna rush out. You're gonna rush down to Universal uh, Orlando to get your picture taken with, with uh, Shira. But of course, yo, don't be mean to the cast member. Don't be mean to the fault. cast member. But yo, if you do get your picture taken with Shira and you want to tag us in on Twitter, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, or if you don't picture, do anything lewd though. If you but, do your picture taken with Shira, take your original Shira doll with you. Oh, brush your hair. Brush the doll's hair. Or brush your hair while you're. The don't doll's brush hair. her hair. I don't no, think no, you're allowed don't do that. to do that. Um, and it also looks like a wig. It probably come off. But don't don't do that. But yeah, if you want to get your picture taken with Shira and tag us in on it, that'd be pretty cool actually. <laughs> so, so there you go. No, that is a good picture. Yeah, it is a good picture. Okay, so are we gonna wrap this one up? Yep. Okay, guys, uh, for the honor of Grace Cole. For logging off. Yeah. Okay, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.